Nike might have made the most comfortable all-around sneaker, and this is the Nike Pegasus 41s. And to figure out if that really is true, I went ahead and tested these sneakers right here and got a lot of people's first impressions to see what the public feels about this shoe right here. I've also been a fan of the Pegasus line for a while now, and the Pegasus has always been seen as the affordable everyday trainer for a lot of people. And thankfully this year for the Pegasus 41, they decided to change things up a bit. As for the last couple of years, that has not been the case. First off, an all around comfortable sneaker to me is something that is nice to walk in, mm -hmm. nice to do errands, mm -hmm. nice to go to the gym, mm -hmm or things of that nature. So visually, this sneaker is pretty different compared to the others, and pretty much since the 36, we haven't seen any visual changes, and pretty much Nike has just did a copy and paste on the sneakers to the 41s. Boy, ain't no way, boy. But now let's get on to the sneaker. So starting off with a couple of similar things from the previous Nike Pegasus sneakers, the Pegasus 40s incorporates the same sizing system as the 41s, and for me, these fit perfectly true to size. Simple as that. The Pegasus for me has always been a very reliable option, and you can beg to differ that this sneaker right here has the same cushion system as the previous Pegasus 40s, but according to Nike, they have that React X foam, which ultimately gives you that 132% more responsiveness, which is pretty nice. The React X foam does a little bit of other different things. In fact, it makes the sneaker a bit lighter and also a bit softer. But one thing that they did keep the same was the traction pattern from the Nike Pegasus 40. I do want to stress the visual changes that this shoe has as this was much needed. This sneaker looks more modern and even more a bit aggressive. But unfortunately, this more modern look gives you more expensive price tag coming in at about $140, which is $10 above the previous Nike Pegasus 40. The new mesh that you do have on the upper of these shoes is just very breathable and also when we're talking about the midsole, I do love the new shape and also the comfort that is added because this is definitely more comfortable when compared to the previous model. Also the padding around the ankle area and the tongue is really nice as it adds to the overall comfort. Currently there are half a dozen colorways in the Pegasus 41s and I personally love this colorway, I feel like it's a great way to start off with. And speaking of the new, we do have in the near future the new. Pegasus Premium. A few moments later. So you guys, before we go ahead and get into the new Pegasus Premiums, today I'm here with Trace and he's gonna give us his own review on the Nike Pegasus 41. So first question for you, Trace. The first question I got is, what would you rate these shoes on a comfortability scale from one to 10? Loki, they're like a 10 out of 10. Damn! Like, they're like really like comfortable and like, soles like really like squishy. I can see myself wearing these a lot. Okay, for sure. So they're very squishy and very comfortable. And now given your comfortability, would you go ahead and buy these sneakers for a retail price of $140? Yeah, I can see myself buying them. Nice. And then beyond running, since this is a running sneaker, do you see yourself wearing this on a lifestyle like day-to-day -day wear? Yeah, I can see myself like working out with these. They're very comfortable. For sure. Thank you, Trace. You guys seen it? And now we're going to get into our second interview. On to our second interview of the day today, I'm here with Aiden. And so Aiden, let me know, what do you feel like the comfortability on these shoes is from a scale of 1 to 10? Um, on these shoes, I definitely say they're, they're a 10. They're really soft. Feels like a thing on a cloud. Yo, yo, yo. For sure, these shoes are definitely made for running, so it definitely gives you that comfortability. But with that being said, would you buy these shoes for a retail price of $140? Yeah, I definitely, I'd buy these for 140 bucks. I feel like what I'd spend on other shoes, I wouldn't get as good of a quality on these. No cap. So given that, since you said you would buy it, beyond running, would you wear this on like a day-to-day -day basis, like a lifestyle sneaker? I definitely would because they're not ugly shoes. I feel like I could definitely match these with something so I could wear them outside. For sure, you guys heard it. This is our second cop of the video. Y'all stay tuned for our last and final interview. Last interview of the day, I'm here with Jathan and he's gonna give us his raw review of these New Balance Pegasus 41s. So without further ado, what would you give these shoes on a scale of 1 to 10 on its comfortability? On its comfortability? Yes. I'd give it a, a good 9 out of 10. Anyway, besides the comfortability, would you actually buy these shoes for a retail price of $140? I would buy these shoes for $140 just because they're nice lightweight shoes and comfortable. 
So you may or may not use this on a running basis, but would you go ahead and go out of your way to wear these on a lifestyle day-to-day -day wear? Yeah, I would wear these every day. I like how they look, they're comfortable and nice looking. For sure. So that is three cops of the video. And without further ado, let's go ahead and go into our full review. A few moments later. They look and they sound like they're going to be a phenomenal pair of shoes as they feature three different types of cushioning systems. You have that Nike React Foam, you have the Nike Air, and you have the Nike flagship Zoom X technology. As far as the design, when comparing it to the Nike Pegasus 41, this seems like it's going to be a fresh new update for the Pegasus line. And these are going to be dropping in spring of 2025. So this is going to be dropping in a couple of ages. So I definitely recommend if you want an option for right now, this is a great option. Overall, I had a great experience with the Nike Pegasus 41. And the answer you guys have been waiting for, I honestly think that this is one of the most comfortable all around sneakers you can get right now. But with all that being said, you guys let me know down in the comments below what you guys think about these sneakers and also what your go-to sneaker is for all day comfort. And if you want to know about the new Air Jordan 39s, go ahead and click this video.